Hello folks, how's it going? I've just watched, oh God, I've just watched a fantastic short film, which I spoke about, must be, uh, I don't know, maybe a year ago, I don't know, I don't know how long ago I spoke about this film, but I saw a trailer for it, and I, I sort of reviewed the trailer, and in, in that I was saying, I don't know how I'm going to get hold of this film, I think I said that in a way, or did I say that? But anyway, it may have been afterwards, I don't know, but afterwards I'd made that video, maybe it was afterwards, I realised how hard it was to get hold of this film. I couldn't find it anywhere. It's only a 28 minute film, short film, short stroke, you know, medium, I don't know. But it was a film called Sound from the Deep. And I was, I was enthusing over the trailer because the trailer looked fantastic and I've, and I've I just thought to myself, let's have another quick look on YouTube. Typed it in, and bloody hell, up it comes. I found it. I don't know if it's if it's uh, for an official source, or they've put it on YouTube, the people that made it, or if it's just someone that's got a copy and has stuck it on. But it's been, it looks like it's been on for a year, um, and it's, it hasn't been taken down. So, yeah, I've got a link for it. I'll put it in here, but. Honest to God, I was sitting watching it, and I'm like, even after the first two minutes, yeah, two minutes fifty, and I sort of just thought, I'm going to tap, see how, because I was enjoying it that much, I was already at the point of like, oh God, this is only a 28 minute film, let's see how much has gone already, and luckily it was only two and a half minutes, and I thought, oh my God, I was already so into it, I just couldn't, I kept, all I was clock watching, thinking, oh. I want this to last longer. Honestly, it was so good. It was so good. They, just, it, the atmosphere, the tone, just the dread. Oh, it was brilliant. It was brilliant. And it, um, while it was going on, I sat there thinking, now what, what have they taken inspiration from for this for this film? And what what kept coming back to me was obviously um, when you see it. I think you'll see it for yourselves. But Call of Cthulhu. Now, obviously, there isn't all the build-up where, um, like in Call of Cthulhu, most of it's the build-up, isn't it, where he's, he's on to this cult and that. But this just, no one's onto a cult in this, but it's just a research vessel that's looking for oil, gas. I think it's some Scandinavian vessel with Scandinavian, it was a Scandinavian film, if, if, I think. It was Finnish or something like that. Anyway, I'm rambling. I don't even know what to say. It's literally just turned. I just literally just finished it and got straight on here to talk about it while it's fresh. Um, but anyway, yeah, they're looking for gas and they suddenly they're on about. They're talking about. They haven't found anything. So they're thinking about heading home. And suddenly they hear this this film, this bloop, this this thing on the uh, the sonar or the or the I don't know how the, how they hear underwater. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> but um, they hear something. And they're like, you know, what was that? And then they debate if they should carry on, and it, they decide to. Um, and as they get nearer and nearer and nearer to the source of this sound, just weird things start happening. People, like the main research guy, he just starts acting very strange. And you can tell some of the crew are infected in, with this in their head. They're just starting to go very weird. And then you get further in and you, you realise that this main research guy... Now, I don't know if he, he started out this quest normal and he's looking for gas, or if he... Um, if, he's, yeah, if he started the quest out normal and he's looking for gas, and along the way, as they've got closer, he's become, you know, just affected in the mind, and he started, you know, do doodling all these things down on bits of paper and... Um, about this, this source of this this sound, you know, whatever's down there, or if he's gone on this 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 boat trip, this this research thing, fully knowing that they're heading toward you know what he's looking for, that in, and he's already part of this cult thing or whatever, I don't know. But they do imply in the film, or not imply, they say it outright that there's messages are being um, relayed to people's minds. Um, and that's why some of the crew are going mental and just 
acting very sinister. But yeah, that's the basic. You know, it, it, they're getting closer and closer to this source, and there's some great imagery in it. And um, some of the characters are having dreams about. They're having dreams and visualizing these things in their dreams. And then at one point, um, they send the research when they get to the, the source of the sound. They send the research thing down, and and suddenly on the monitors you see this thing, this image of this sort of like an underwater. It's like I mean, in they don't mention Cthulhu, obviously, and when they mention the name of this thing, it's not Cthulhu. It's something else. But it's it's almost like they're they're there, at, you know. Ryler, or however you say it, Cthulhu's underwater domain. But um, it, yeah, once all that kicks off, it's not. It's right near the end of the film, so you don't get a lot of it. But they they release this thing from its prison, and um, there's there's some great creepy imagery, and just just dread. Honestly, it's so good. It's so good. You've got to go and watch it now. God. Oh God, it's so good. Um, yeah, that's. I'm not going to say much more about it. I just, I just, I just can't believe I was lucky enough to to think of. I found it on YouTube, and I was so happy because I've been waiting to see this thing for so long. I've been waiting to see it, and um, I just, I, I, I've, I've said this before. And because I was clock watching, because I knew it was only 28 minutes long, and I'm sitting there going, oh, this just need, why can't somebody make a feature length, a two hour, three hour film with, you know, with a lot more build up, they could create a lot more atmosphere and dread. Well, um, you know what? I, they could. I mean, I I kind of lost faith in bloody Hollywood because they just make some shit these days. They just seem to just churn this shit out without putting too much thought into it. Modern films. I mean, you get the odd gem, but so much of it is just shit. But if you could get the right person, you know, to write a script and the right person to direct it and someone that actually gives a shit, oh, this, you know, something along these lines could be something special. It really could. Anyway, I think I've said everything I'm going to say. Um, thanks for listening. Go and check out Sound from the Deep. I'll put a link in. Cheerio for now.